The letter. Try not to look down, Daria. <coughs> Lisa, you have to squat before you jump. Uh, uh, I'm okay, really. It's the yacht that's spinning, not me. Dorma, take deep breaths. It makes running easier. Professor, why do we have to take these phys ed classes anyway? Wouldn't it be better to practice our magic? Oh, but girls, you're already doing great with your magic studies. Your fitness levels are what could stand to be improved. Remember how tired you got during our hike through the Laughing Mountains? <laughs> that was no laughing matter. I think we're in great shape, Professor. <gasps> Rest, then do it one more time. <sighs> For the record, I can jump, you know. At least when I turn into a frog. And why run on your own when you can have seven league boots? And balance. As if I really need to know how to walk on a beam. Anyway, getting around on a flying carpet is cooler. If only we didn't have visit. That's a great idea. Let's write to the Magical Council. They set the school program, so they should get rid of a useless class. The professor won't argue with them. Dear Magical Council, we the students Daria, Dorma, and Lisa believe that wizards don't need to run, jump, and walk on balance beams. So we ask you to cancel physical education. It's outdated. <laughs> the Squirrel Express won't be here till next weekend. We should take the letter to the Postal Oak ourselves. Are you sure we're not lost? According to the map, the Postal Oak is just past the Creaky Thicket, which is right there. <laughs> Getting rid of Phys Ed is harder work than doing it. This is a one-time thing. We have Phys Ed all the time. I think we go that way. <gasps> Hear that? Oh, it's so cute! <gasps> Jumping toadstools! They're the oldest kind in the world. I've wanted to study them for so long, but the immortal said I'm not allowed in the toadstool reserve. I see why. I'd study these from afar. How do you think they got out of the reserve? <gasps> the toadstools didn't get out of the reserve. We've wandered into it. And jumping toadstools don't like visitors. They're afraid that they might get stepped on. Well, I don't think we stepped on any, did we? Just be sure not to touch them, or you'll spend all week being really itchy. Itchy? Gross! Stop still! Second to first, reverse! No, you see? Our magic doesn't work where the jumping toadstools live. That's why they're kept here in a special reserve. So what do we do now? Run! <laughs> if only we had seven league boots. Remember what the professor said. Deep breaths. <sighs> There's another door over there. Everything's backwards in this meadow. The toadstools go after people. And the path is soft. I wonder why that is. That's not a path. It's a swamp. We can't go this way. Look, there's the postal oak. We can walk across that log, but be very careful. <sighs> the flying carpet would be useful right about now. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> I can't get across with all the shaking. Yes, you can. Just don't look down, okay? Just like the professor said. Look at us! It feels like walking on solid ground. You are on solid ground. We did it! The exit's there! Uh, so, at least the toadstools didn't get us. 
I'm not so sure. <gasps> Remember, don't let them touch you. But do as the professor said. Squat before we jump. Before we jump where? Here! <laughs> I've never jumped that high! Even when I was a frog! All thanks to Fizz Ed. Yes, if it hadn't been for the professor, we'd be quite itchy. You know, my hands actually are itching to change some things in the letter we wrote. I apologize, girls. It was probably me who forgot to lock the door when I was showing Grunewald around. Tell me, if it's not a secret, what was so urgent about your letter? That you couldn't wait for the Squirrel Express to come to the school? It's not a secret, Professor. We remember every word. We asked the Distinguished Council to express our gratitude to our Professor, who teaches Phys Ed and makes us jump and run and walk across balance beams even if we get cranky about it. His advice saved us from the jumping toadstools! <laughs> Thank you for that, girls. It's always lovely to receive praise from your students. Now, don't you forget, our next workout is bright and early tomorrow morning. I can't wait! Hooray! Bring it on! A walk in the woods. First, we'll show them the blue crow's nest. They're sure to like that. And then we'll treat them to the sweetest raspberries. Uh-huh! They'll be so busy licking their fingers, they won't realize they're already at the firefly glade. And here, the frog chorus, along with Lisa, will give a special concert. I hope you all will enjoy it. Oh, of course we'll enjoy it. Plus, they've seen everything at the school ten times over. Hmm. All that's left to do is double-check the route. Want some? Plumberry with a hint of unpredictability. Uh-huh. And if you'll continue this way, here we have the nesting place of the Blue Crow. It looks like the crow has relocated. And took the nest with it. It took the entire tree. Come back! How are we supposed to run an excursion here if the trees won't stand still? These tracks, they're odd. They don't look like roots. Maybe Baba Yaga left them. What? I feel a dainty. And elegant. I didn't steal the bird. And besides, I'm having the day off. <gasps> Look at that! What is it? Someone's stealing the raspberry bush. Where are you taking our raspberries? We haven't shown them to the boys yet! <laughs> Whoever that was, he clearly knows his magic and the best spots in our forest. If this carries on, there'll be nothing left to show Levon and Vosco. We have to do something. Dorma and Lisa, you take the Firefly Meadow. The three of us will check the pond. Flies flew away at the speed of light. But look at these tracks. What kind of feet would leave these way out here? <gasps> Roots like feet, knobby knees, you'll find him amidst the trees. I know who it is. <gasps> Who's that? Whoever that is, he can't have the pond. Princesses, let's go. Keep your branches off our pond. <gasps> That's a bog. I'll just squelch back. Well, that was a slick move. Don't worry. How's this for slick? <laughs> Rooney, time for fire. Helen, ready your eyes. Stop! It's Leshy, the forest spirit, the protector of trees and bees. Takes care of the forest so everyone familiar with forest knows you should make friends with Leshy. Wait here. <laughs> He means only good. Don't get too close. What if he eats her? <gasps> Greetings, spirit of the wood. We live as friends as people should. Mm -hmm. A daughter of Woodstream? Lisa Oakengrove. That may be. But why then, Miss Oakengrove, are you and your friends hurting the forest? Actually, we were saving it from you. Oh, from me? <laughs> We certainly weren't hurting it. We weren't lighting fires or burning leaves. Oh, isn't this yours? Unpredictable. 
and Plumberry. We did drop some litter. Candy wrappers are so small. Could they really hurt this big forest? Didn't I hear you were planning an excursion? Well then, come on. We'll take a walk, and I'll show you. Here, all living things are connected. <sighs> the blue crow loves the raspberry <laughs> bush. The raspberry bushes need clean water from the stream. Fireflies love the damp spots near the water. And the stream runs out of the pond. And if candy wrappers fall into the pond, even if it's the most delicious candy in the world, this lovely stream could dry up. And then the fireflies will fly away, the raspberry bush will wither, and the crow will have nothing to eat. That's why I move the crow to another bush. The raspberries to the stream, and the fireflies closer to the water. Now, do you understand? Yes! We won't ever drop litter in the forest. That's good. Now for Lisa's concert. I would be honored to join the audience if Yay, I were. Yes, of course! <laughs> Concert. Please tell me when you give another. And while I'm not here, I ask you, please, respect the forest. Slipshod. Also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Well, can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Oh. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please? With the cherry on top? Of course. But follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney, huh? we're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming. <laughs> Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. 100 drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. Okay, I'm off. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hot soup right out of the oven. Thanks. Thank you. And what a great game. <laughs> but we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win. I love playing skip ball. It's so fun. And I love this soup, too. Ugh. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you. There! Gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them? But they were so round! And they made a noise 
like Slipshod. Right, girls? Oh, we believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait! Find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shard, oh! I found them. Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shard magic. So somebody made a messy spell, and now we all have to suffer. Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them, and only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning, Vaggy. <laughs> If you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> the Newcomers. Wow, what a heroic painting. I've also got a shield like he does. I beg your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but... This time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping herbs over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> oh. What you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. 
Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! <laughs> now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help, but you forced it. <laughs> Watch out! <gasps> what was that for? It wasn't me. Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero. <laughs> In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. Oh, yeah? Helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures uh, and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly. I found them. <gasps> what are you doing there? No, nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand! A real hero doesn't need help! <gasps> you have to leave! It's too dangerous here! Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you! Yes, and we're sorry! We know we were wrong! Give me your hand! We'll pull you up! Hey, Vasco! Let them help us! They can pull us up! <gasps> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <gasps> Look! My magic! It's finally working again! Auto magic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision. And that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school. So of course they were sad. Exactly. And you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal. Do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the top punk. <laughs> <laughs> Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. 
Just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right! Stop ordering us around! You bossy! Well, clearly without me you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine then. Maybe I would be better off too. <gasps> With other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve. And yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough. I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls, I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. Huh? Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Daria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. Girls, what's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror or we'll be switched back again. Well then, let's replace Helen. Huh? Hmm. Hooray, it's hide and seek. My favorite. First to find Helen wins. To get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. <sighs> oh, Helen. You who? Where are you? We just want to play. Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? Huh. <sighs> Thank you for getting me out of there. It wasn't comfortable in there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away. Not yet. 
Me. I don't want any other classmates. I only <laughs> want you. Midnight magic. <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Doria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh... Between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm. Beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. What is at A2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> 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 I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's the scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Dorma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> Go away! Archie, go now! Doria, do something fast! I don't know how! Uh. Help us! I'm looking for a flaw in the gemstone! Oh, here it is! I need something sharp to hit it with! Gee. 
expected in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains, who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Storia. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cost it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? <laughs> The Seven League Boots. Rooney, you need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. <laughs> well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Rooney early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention... Such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow! Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh. I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Uh, oh, thank you, Rooney. Uh, What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! with her? Nothing. It must be a shortcut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye toads, tools, while ye may. Stop that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing this on purpose. The boots won't stop. Now you've done it. Run to the enchanted swamp. At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden. Rooney, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this. It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win. <laughs> we'll see about that. Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore. What's happening? <gasps> Your boots unzipped. That must be why I can't control them. And Baba Yaga sent me to the swamp. Oh no, this is all my fault. Hold on, Lisa! We'll save you! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> run, run, into the swamp where you belong. Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove. Someone oh, help me! I'll teach you a lesson. First it's your boots, then you use your stove to crush my toadstools. Lisa, take my hand! <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now. I'll show you both! Rooney, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney! Thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! <laughs> ah. what? what? I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? And the seven league boots? Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me, but you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive mm. you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. <gasps> Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up. And I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too. And clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> ah. Squirreled away. 28, 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Me first. Tag, I got you. So what if you did? Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. <gasps> Tag, got you, Lisa. <laughs> have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag, got you, Doria. <laughs> Oh, it's a squirrel! It's so cute! Oh, did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. Oh, oh! What's 
wrong with me? I've turned to stone and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Zarya. Nice, Zarya. Not quite. <gasps> Fold you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. <laughs> I've got you now. <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga. If only I had a protective amulet. Bleh. So what? A house on chicken legs. Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? Uh, yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! Please, hurt. <laughs> Let me go. It's not that important for you, is it? to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. <laughs> now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> You escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust her to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Oh. You, you helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. <laughs> Girls! Oh, good work! Oh, oh, no, it's great. Great. But it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swell! Oh, wow. Good job, so cute. <laughs> Hey, where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. <laughs> Tired and tested. Tomorrow, I will be giving a lesson on the three-headed dragon. We'll study its head and the way it flies and breathes fire. <gasps> Three-headed dragons. Awesome. The topic's complex, so tomorrow you need to be attentive as well as involved. After all, the director will be watching us. The director will watch us. Ah, the immortal, huh? Then I'll make sure he remembers it. <laughs> We have to hurry. The sooner we start, the more we'll learn about dragons. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Immortal. Good morning to you, girls. Hm. What fine enthusiasm. <gasps> oh, girls. Good lesson this morning. I mean, let's begin now. You're going to do just fine. Don't worry. I've dreamed of seeing one of these my whole life. 
Uh, I'm afraid at stage one, Rooney, we only study how to fly dragons using miniature copies. What? When do we use real ones? Rooney, we're only at stage one. Please be patient. We use miniature copies to ensure that everyone remains safe. Mm, yes, safety. That's right. Let's start with just one dragon. The recipe's easy enough. Two drops of flame plant juice, along with moonlight dew, combine and mix well. But no more than one drop, or else you... <gasps> oh, no! No need to panic. Just a small recipe mistake. <laughs> That's right. Remain calm. Sweet and obedient creatures. <laughs> oh, these creatures are rather annoying. They're more like dragon flies. Yes, a regrettable error, but reversible. <sighs> oh no, Mr. Immortal. I'll do it. Tornado. Uh, everything's under control. Oh. oh no, good heavens. I'm so sorry, sir. Oh, oh my, what is going on? <clears throat> Marlene. These are impressive special effects. However, it hasn't been the most successful lesson. To be honest, it hasn't been successful at all. I can see that you tried, but it is difficult material. Hmm. Professor, I wonder, would you teach the lesson? Aren't these dragons your specialty, sir? May I please try one more time tomorrow, sir? You see, I... I didn't sleep last night. I had nightmares all night long. Please. No, he's not going to let her. But what if he does, and she has another hard night? And then what? If she doesn't sleep well again, things could get even worse. Oh, dear. Poor Marlene. Oh, she's restless. Looks like she's having nightmares again. I know. Let's help her sleep tonight. How? We can make her some good dreams so she can rest. Just a moment. Let me find the right frequency. Yes, I think I caught her dream. I knew it would work. Let's go. What's the hat for? It's a special dream mixing hat. Basically, it transmits dreams. Think of a good dream, and I'll go to sleep. Then I'll transmit the dream to Marlene. Okay, we're inside her dream now. <gasps> it looks dreadfully gloomy. Yes, no wonder she can't sleep. I'll make the first dream for her. Everything must be bright and colorful, with lots of pretty gowns and music to dance to. Look very happy anymore. I've got it. We'll add some sheep. <laughs> oh dear, it didn't work. <laughs> oh no, this is frightening. That's it. I'm going to enter her dream now. What is this? You're the one ruining our dreams. Ah, uh -huh. now I've got you. Little wrecker of dreams, fly far away and take your nightmares with you. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Good morning. You look wonderfully well rested. Oh, why, thank you, sir. I finally feel well rested. So now, the three-headed dragon lesson should go perfectly well. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Ah! A golden chest. I'm gonna get it this time. Watch! You almost did it. El Guerrero never would have missed the target. You should see all the cool things he does with boomerangs. I doubt he's missed a target before. Throwing with two hands at once, a hundred a minute. In other words, he has wicked talent. I don't have talent. Nor do I. 
Everything Bell the artist draws comes to life, even elephants and dragons. And here I can't even get a bird right. See, fly, go on, little bird! <sighs> 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 Either of you guys see a protection field? Mm, no. So the potion didn't work again. Another flask ruined. I wish I could nail these on the first attempt, like Silverstein of Bubble Pots does. The first attempt? There's no way our favorite wizards had it that easy way back when they were our age. I wonder if there's some kind of secret to their talent. Hmm. I found it. See here. There's an interview with Guerrero, which says only that the secret to his talent is in... his golden chest? I don't believe it! Bell the Artist's secret is also in a chest! Silvestina has a chest too! The book doesn't tell you what's in the chest, only that they're in a museum in the Wonder Mountains. But that's clear across Wondermont! <sighs> yeah, I'd forgotten how far that is. Two days on foot! It'd take two days on foot, but on a dragon, just one afternoon! Thank you so much for agreeing to take us, Miss Dragon! If you want a famous wizard's talent, I'm guessing you've gotta... just go sit on their golden chest, uh, for a couple days. And to get really talented, a couple of weeks. No, I don't think it's about sitting on the chest or anything. I think you just have to take whatever's stored in it. I'll find out what's in Silvestina's chest, and I'll brew the most powerful protective potion ever! What's this I hear? A chest with Silvestina's talent? Hmm, with her talent, I could mix up a potion to bewitch the whole of Wondermont, including the school principal. <laughs> Look! We're here! I think I'm more talented already. I think the chests we need are inside. Anybody here? We're here to look at the chests. That's weird. There's not even an echo. Maybe they've gone to lunch? <gasps> so many chests. We'd better hurry if we want to find the ones we need before dark. This one was Firewing the 39th! Oh, look! The Invisible Princess! The Fluttering Master! Oh, wow! The Sun Knight's chest! Every famous wizard had a golden chest. That's so cool! Why weren't we given one? Maybe you get one when you graduate. I doubt it. The Sun Knight didn't even go to school, did he? He went straight out questing. <laughs> El Guerrero's chest! El the Artist's chest! Silvestina's chest! Oh, <gasps> Baba Yaga! Hi there! <laughs> Banana fling! Every huh? single one. Thank you for saving our exhibit. I'm the Echo of the Wonder Mountains, and I'm also the guide at this museum. Now tell me which talented wizard is such a good shot with a boomerang? I'm Vasco, but I'm not talented at all. That was just a banana fling throw. That's how I used to knock bananas off the trees back home. <laughs> hmm. And the young creator of living pictures? Oh, I'm Helen, but that wasn't talent. No matter what animal I draw, a living bear is all I can do. <laughs> and the brave potions master? Daria, ma'am. I'm not anywhere near being a real master, though. Returning potions are all I can manage. I fail at everything else. Did you know that even the most famous wizards in history got a lot of things wrong when they first started out? <sighs> but they practiced again and again. And each of them put all their unsuccessful attempts in a chest. And then one day, when the chests were full, 
they turned gold, didn't they? So, the chess won't make us more talented? Theirs won't, no. However, your own chest will help you very much indeed. <gasps> A chest! Practice, practice. Put your unsuccessful attempts in your chest, and one glorious day, your chest will turn gold. Because those who work hard... I'm gonna try again. And don't give up. We'll get there in the end.